Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we continue the journey in learning strokes and I'm going to introduce you to the voice modulation a little bit on the metrics and hopefully we'll touch also on shares. I'm going to take also the opportunity to show you how to start creating some music using strokes. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, on the first channel we're going to use Euclidean two steps for the kick drum. Second channel, two steps again for the but we're going to shift that like so. On the third channel, we are going to use uh, eight step for a hi hat, and then on the fourth channel, we're going to use again eight steps for a bass. Let's go now to voices. Let's uh, select for channel number one sampler audio files here, and let's select kick drum like so. On the second channel, sampler load sample, and let's select snare. On the third one, we're going to select sampler load sample hi hat. And then on the fourth channel, we are going to select analog and increase the setting here for so. Let's click play. Okay, so in so doing, we have created a simple rhythm using just the first uh, four channels. Now let's focus on the mode, on the voice modulation section. Starting from the top left, you have the selection of the channel. So channel one, two, eight. And as you move from one channel to the next, these settings underneath will change. Now for the first three, we are selected sampler, as it says there, but check what happens when I go to channel four, where we are selected analog, you have additional uh, parameters here, which you can uh, uh, modulate. Indeed, you choose the source modulation here, which can be matrix one to eight, which are down here to the bottom left, weights, a to D, which are here on the right hand side, which I will create a tutorial from, and also the velocity. Now, so let's uh, um, ensure that we are on channel four, analog. So let's choose uh, matrix number one, which will be here on channel one, and then let's select pitch to be influenced by one. You can, you can go up to a maximum of uh, um, four. So let's click play. You don't hear any difference because now you have to make adjustment here on the metrics. But let me show you what happens in the metrics. So first of all, it moves from the first step to the first dial to the second dial because that is for channel number one and we have only two steps. So it moves to the next dial as it finds a new step. Okay. And then of course in when it finishes on the step, it will restart, okay, in terms of sequence. Now, let me show you what happens as I change channels. You see different direction happening on the metrics. So for channel number one, it goes in this direction, like so. For channel number two, it goes to this direction. Channel number three, vertically, like so. And channel number four, vertically again, like so, as uh, um, I'm showing you, you with the mouse cursor. Now let's go for channel number four, where we have our base. And now uh, let's change some value, something like that, as we play, actually. I should say that I need to select the matrix number four here uh, because that is on channel number four, not one, to uh, make sure that the matrix number four here uh, modulate the pitch, okay? So matrix and four for channel number four is changing the pitch here because it's modulating the pitch and the amount is one. Of course, if I increase the amount, yeah, it will increase the pitch modulation. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's leave that to two. Let's go back to voices. Let's go to the analog ear, channel number four. Let's click A and B and quantize. So let's click play and uh, let's remove the notes that we don't want to be played. Okay, and then therefore you can quantize as you prefer. And you can create, of course, uh, your different uh, um, pattern for your bass. Now, let's uh, create some more variability and we're going to use this section here called share. How does it work? Well, you move down the probability with these uh, um, effectively controls here. So, and for the channel which correspond to. So for this first one, it will be for channel one and channel uh, five. So it can be both, or you can select one or the other, or both. This one for channel two and, and six, this three and seven, this one four and eight. So our base is on channel number four. So we're going to leave it there. We're not going to use channel eight for now. So we're going to decrease the probability of playing steps. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time. Bye.